What's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome to the first annual Best Outfit of the Year Awards for 2018. Now that 2018 is about to end in just a few hours from now, I figured why not recap my personal favorite outfits, not my outfits, but like my favorite outfits from other people for the entire year. I went back through everybody's feed that I follow and I picked the best outfits and I categorized them into the top outfits for you guys. Now just as a quick disclaimer, these are my personal favorite outfits, so they might not be your personal favorite outfits, so don't think that my opinion is wrong. Everybody has their own opinion, so these are just my personal favorite outfits, and I'm really excited to show you guys all these outfits. I think they're really, really cool. It's a lot of fun to go back through the past year and just like get a lot of inspiration again from old outfits. Now the first award being given out tonight is for the Best Casual Outfit Award, and that is going to none other than Luca Sabat. I'm sure a lot of you guys follow him on Instagram, he is a huge influencer, stylist, model. He basically does it all now. And this outfit is definitely a standout outfit for me, even though it's very, very simple. I love it, it's so clean. I'll try to break down really quickly what he's wearing. He has a vintage Seinfeld hat. He's got a Louis Vuitton, I'm pretty sure it's unreleased Louis Vuitton head scarf silk thing. He's got a ERD paint splatter crew neck on. He's got, I'm not really sure what the sweatpants are, but just like gray sweatpants. He's got blue socks and clean white Air Force Ones, and he also has um, some like vintage style sunglasses. And then he has the Louis Vuitton soft trunk in the white colorway. I love this outfit so much. It's so clean, it's really, really simple. Not many people can pull off a full sweatsuit and make it look very like high-end designer, and he did just that. After I saw this outfit, I fell in love with the idea of wearing like a full sweatsuit that kind of matches and just flows all together. It's a very like retro looking outfit, like from like the 70s or 80s maybe, but he pulled it off in 2018, and I think he killed it. So congratulations, Luca. I doubt you're actually watching this video, but good job, you got the first award. The next outfit award is going to the best editorial slash runway outfit, and this award is going to Mike the Ruler. Recently he's been on the down low and keeping his profile very, very limited about what he posts, but around a month or two ago, he posted a bunch of outfits that he kind of like styled and just like shot in the hallway of his apartment building, and I absolutely fell in love with this outfit. It's it's really, really out of this world. It's not something that you can wear every day. It's, that's why I picked it as a runway editorial outfit. I'm not even sure exactly what his friend is wearing. By the way, this is not Mike the Ruler. Mike the Ruler styled this guy. Um, but I'm pretty sure that is the Balenciaga like seven layer jacket. I think that's what it's called. It's just a bunch of different like layers all stacked together in a huge like mass. Um, like there's like a western jacket with like the fringe hanging in the back. There's like a tiger rainbow scarf type thing going on. Just so many different layers. I love the whole look. It looks very Vetmont, Balenciaga, like Demna-esque essentially. He's got like a sweater underneath a giant t-shirt with a scarf over top of that. And then he's got the seven layer jacket. He's got these giant, I think these are Raph Simmons um, Spaceman pants or something like that. I think that's what they're called. He's got some sort of Converse looking shoe, but they're probably not Converse. Um, he's got like a vintage army style dad hat. Crazy, crazy outfit. I love all the colors going on too. I can definitely imagine this outfit walking down the runway and I just personally love it. I think he killed this outfit. So congratulations to Mike the Ruler. The next award is for the best red carpet look and that is going to the man himself, Virgil from the Met Gala. I think that's what the event was. He's wearing an unreleased Louis Vuitton ivory suit. He's got the Louis Vuitton sequenced, um, like religious holster vest type thing. It has a giant yoke on the back, has straps that come over around the armpit area. And then he's got the sequins little like handbag carrying thing. He's got a white button up shirt underneath the jacket. And then on the feet, he's got the off-white Jordan one and the UNC colorway. I believe back then it was unreleased, but it could be wrong. I love those pants. I think how those pants kind of open up in the front just kind of like perfectly show off the shoe. I love the color of the suit. I think it fits him perfectly too. I love the jewelry, I love all the accessories. I think the sequence like vest type thing and the bag are perfect and they just add so much to the outfit. I love that look. Even though there isn't a lot of color going on, it all just works perfectly. When that vest thing releases, I hope I can get my hands on it. It's probably gonna be in the thousands because I think it's all handmade too, but I love this outfit. It's probably worth well over $10,000 probably in the like $15,000 range. 
um, just in terms of like retail value. So congratulations to Virgil, good job. The next award I totally did not make up on the spot. This is the Cleanest Outfit Award, and that is going to GX Wilson. He doesn't have the biggest following on Instagram, so if you haven't already, definitely go follow him on Instagram. His aesthetic is super, super clean, very minimal, very like black, white, gray, that kind of color scheme. Um, this outfit I instantly fell in love with when I saw it earlier this year. He's wearing a white long sleeve. It's probably his own brand if I had to guess. He's wearing a pair of raw straight leg denim in a gray colorway with a fat cuff on the bottom. And then on feet, which kind of ties the whole outfit together, kind of makes it kind of like an outfit that I would be really, really into, is the Rick Owens Dunks in the Milk colorway, I think they're called. Um, but it could be wrong. It's just a white colorway with black accents and black detailing. A nice yellowed sole. Those are the cleanest dunks I have ever seen. I cannot believe those actually came out like over 10 years ago and they look that clean. Again, it's a very, very minimal outfit. That's why I gave the cleanest outfit award. This outfit kind of like perfectly shows off his aesthetic, like what he's into. And when I saw it back in June, I instantly fell in love with it. Congratulations to Mr. Wilson. Let's get a round of applause. The next award is for the best use of materials. And this one is really, really hard to pick because there's so many outfits that use a lot of different materials and kind of mix it all together, making it look really, really cohesive. But I had to give this to none other than Ian Connor. This outfit isn't too old, um, but he's wearing a custom capital hybrid parka jacket that was made by Adam and Even. He's got some sort of vintage tee on underneath. He's got a Elix chain around his neck. He's got the number nine, like soft trucker hat. He's got the capital jeans, the same ones as these, but different colorway. And then he's got the Freddy Krueger Nike SB Dunks, which are insanely, insanely rare and very, very expensive. The reason why I gave this outfit the best use of material awards is because he's got the denim from the jeans, which have corduroy patches and metal studs. So that's already a lot of different materials and also has little gems too. The shoes have a lot of different materials because it has leather for like the bloody skin effect. And then it has like a sweater material for the striped sweater and then it's got like a metallic swoosh. For the jacket, it has a Sherpa material that has a like rock and roll style graphic print and then a fishtail parka for the sleeve and back, I'm pretty sure. And then obviously the soft trucker hat, which isn't really a crazy material, but it's a different material. And then the vintage t-shirt. It's just so many different things going on. And I think it's this outfit looks really, really clean. This outfit is probably worth in the $40,000 range just because of the shoes and necklace alone. So congratulations, Ian, round of applause. The next award is for the best full denim outfit. Now, normally I'm not the biggest fan of denim on denim, and it's very, very hard to do it correctly in my opinion, but there's one outfit that really stood out to me, and I think they perfectly pulled off the denim jacket with jeans look, and that is Jacob Hetzer. He does a lot of stuff with his own projects, and he does a lot of really, really cool minimalistic outfits. And in this outfit, he's wearing a very, very clean denim jacket with kind of like a dark wash. I'm not sure what brand it is, but I'm sure it's like an archive type thing. Um, he's got the collar pop. I don't know what the brand of the pants are either, but they kind of look like the helmet laying painter jeans, but they're definitely not because they have like a weird splatter. They're honestly probably just vintage Levi's that have like natural distressing and stuff like that. Really, really like this outfit, it's super clean. I would totally wear this, especially the jeans. Like I'm in love with those jeans and I need to get them for myself. If you guys haven't already, definitely go follow Jacob if you're into this kind of style. It's very, very similar to GX Wilson. The next outfit award is for the best vintage outfit. And that is going to the OG men's fashion YouTuber himself. Jacob Keller, and in this outfit, he's wearing a vintage The Cure t-shirt. I have a bunch of those t-shirts, but not that one. That one has a really, really sick graphic, really cool colors. Moving down the outfit, it looks like he has a pair of vintage, really, really cool jeans, giant holes in the knees, paint splatters everywhere, kind of like run up and like have a stringy effect. And then for a belt, he has the Elix medium sized belt, I believe. I can't tell what the shoes are since the picture gets cut off right there, but this outfit looks really, really cool. I'm not sure what brand the jeans are, so they might not actually be vintage, but it looks like they're vintage, so I'm gonna guess they're vintage. Again, another very simple outfit, not too much going on, but it's totally an everyday outfit. Very vintage inspired. I love that t-shirt. I love the jeans. Seeing this picture actually inspired me to buy a vintage pair of Levi's just like that, but a little bit different, obviously. So congratulations, Jacob, round of applause. The next award is going to the best black and white outfit of 2018. I believe he showed this outfit in a video, I wanna say last week, so it's really, really recent. And the outfit is from Sanjeev, and he's wearing an HA jacket where the top is like a houndstooth 
checkered pattern and then towards the bottom with like a ripped effect that's all stitched together is a velvet material. I could be wrong, but it's black in color. He's also wearing a turtleneck that has a cream color, a black beanie. For pants, he's wearing a pair of Rick Owens velvet or velour drawstring pants. They have a really, really cool fit. I love those pants so much. And then on feet, which is what the whole video was about, are the Maison Margiela tabbies. I absolutely love this outfit. It's so sick. I love the silhouette. The jacket is so cool. I love the pants. I didn't even know those pants existed. I've wanted those shoes for like half a year now and I still haven't pulled the trigger. The turtleneck just kind of pulls it all together. It works perfectly with the trench coat. And then the beanie obviously just like tops off the whole outfit, literally. So congratulations, Sanjeev. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits of the year. Very, very well deserved. So congratulations, man. The next award is for the best monochromatic outfit, which means kind of like the same color tone going all the way through. And that is going to Ian Connor again. This award is actually for a different outfit. He posted this on his Finsta. I don't know if he actually put it on his story if anybody's actually seen this outfit besides the people on his Finsta, but he's wearing a capital bucket hat, some sort of like vintage track jacket. I'm not really sure what brand it is, but it's probably some like designer type thing. He's got the Raph Simmons Poltergeist parka in the green and the army green colorway. And then he's got the brown Elix holster pants. And then on feet, he's wearing the sample Elix Sherling hiking boots that were part of the Matthew Williams Grail release. I actually wanted to buy these shoes so badly. The only size available is like a size six or seven, which are tiny, which is obviously why Ian bought them because they're his size. It definitely fits with my style because I wear a lot of earth tones, a lot of capital and leaks and stuff like that. It's also one of my favorite outfit pictures just in general too, with like the background and everything like that. So congratulations again to Ian, very, very well deserved. We are down to the last two awards I have to give out for tonight. The next award is for the best all black outfit of 2018. And that's going to another repeat winner and that is Luca Sabat. He has some sort of black hoodie. He's got the Elix chest rig. He's got the Raf Simmons consumed parachute cargo pants. And then even though this kind of doesn't really fit with the whole black thing, but he's got the off-white Air Jordan ones in the NRG colorway. So they are white shoes, but give me a break here. This outfit is pretty much all black. I really, really love this outfit. It has a super cool silhouette, which is kind of what all black outfits have to do. I think the chest rig and the pants kind of like work perfectly together since they both have that tactical look. They both have a lot of nylon going on, tons of zippers, and, let, and lots of little straps that hang down. I think he could have gone with a tucked in t-shirt, but hoodie is definitely a great option. This outfit is definitely worth thousands of dollars because of those pants. These pants were actually in my last video, which was the Grail wishlist video, so definitely go check that out if you haven't already. And then moving on to the very last outfit award I have to give out for 2018. The very last award I have to give out for 2018 is the best suit outfit. I kind of separated this outfit and the Virgil outfit because they were both suit outfits. I just had to break them up, but I wanted to include both. This is going to Mitch Ho, who is very, very low key on Instagram. He doesn't have a lot of followers, so definitely go follow him. He posted yesterday, one of my favorite outfits I've seen all year. It's a very, very simple outfit, so there's not much to talk about, but he's wearing a gray suit. So he's got the gray blazer, he's got the gray trousers, he's got black boots. I'm not really sure what the boots are, but they're just like regular black boots it looks like. And then kind of like the piece de resistance for me is the balaclava, which is a Calvin Klein balaclava. That balaclava is one of my favorite pieces of 2018. I think it was the perfect accessory that they could have released and you're able to like pair it with almost any outfit. There's so many colorways released and I think this colorway works perfectly with this outfit. Kind of looks like the TF2 Spy, which is what I saw in one of these comments and I have to completely agree. Congratulations, Mitch Ho, very, very well deserved. And that is it for the first annual Best Outfits of 2018 awards. Let me know what you guys thought of my list down in the comments below. Give this video a like if you haven't already, it means so much to me. And lastly, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it. Peace out, you guys. See you next time.